There are one or two rules, half a dozen maybe, that all horror films must share to at least some degree. Did you ever notice, for example, that any character who ever exhibits even the tiniest cough is not long for this world? Phone lines always seem to go dead right in the middle of a thunderstorm. And especially apropos for this movie, no good will ever come from opening an Egyptian tomb with a death curse on it. Dead things always come back to life. Isn't this wonderful? Now, that's what Hammer Studios was trying to do back in the mid-1960s. Anyway, bring all those dead things back to life, like horror creatures and stuff like that. The great ones like Frankenstein and Dracula and Jekyll and Hyde and the Phantom of the Opera, and the oldest of them all, the mummy. The leading man in the curse of the mummy's tomb is an actor with excellent credentials. Uh, it's Terence Morgan, who star of the British stage and screen who played Laertes to Laurence Olivier's Hamlet all those years ago. That's a good film, by the way. Anyway, he was also in Captain Horatio Hornblower, uh, which was with Gregory Peck. But here he is in a different kind of role, Terence Morgan in the widescreen version of The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. 